here are gonna be some of the most hyped projects that you gotta be paying attention to. All right, so the first project that we're gonna be talking about is going to be Alpa Cadaver. Alpaca character is gonna be like this 2D character. They kind of been under the radar for the last few months, but they recently started to explode in popularity and a lot of people are looking into this, especially because they're launching a VX model. So the trend that you'll see is that a lot of these projects, they come out, they might do a 2D project, whether it's pixel art or maybe it's fine line. And then what happens is that over time, when they announce they will launch, let's say a VX model or some model that you can use in the sand box, suddenly their price starts to explode. So if you look at OpenSea, there's gonna be 4,000 holders, floor price is 1.22, just for this alpaca right here, right? In the beginning, like nobody really cares about them too much, the floor is like 0 0.1, and then all of a sudden when the narrative changes and they buy some land in the sandbox and they say, hey guys, we're going to create 3D models that you can use in the sandbox world and other worlds as well, of course the price is going to explode. Everybody who holds one of these Genesis alpacas, well, they're gonna be able to mint a 3D model as well, but you can also mint it when this goes live in the public sale. And this project was actually kind enough to send me some whitelist spots that I can share with my community on Discord. So if you're looking for a whitelist opportunities like that, make sure to join my Discord. Link is in the description. So essentially what I see in this brand, is basically like a metaverse brand where they're a brand that exists online and they're going to be in multiple places, whether it's a sandbox, whether it's creating their own game in the future. And I can see they're trying to do like a browser game in the future. They're going to create a store. So you probably can buy accessories for your alpacas in the future. 2021, they're going to do a competitive browser game. I'm not sure if that's out yet. They're gonna have an augmented reality mobile game. So that's interesting how that's gonna turn out. Not too much news, I believe. Merchandise store where you can buy actual physical clothes. And you know, they got a full team over here. I did take a look at their team. Most of them are not docs. So, you know, keep that in mind. They've been building for months and months and months. So it does seem like they're trying to build a legit project over here. And one thing that is really interesting is that if you go onto their YouTube page, it seems like they're really popular with the Chinese speaking market, right? They're doing these AMAs where you have a lot of like Chinese NFT fans coming into this. It's interesting because because, you know, there's this trend where everyone's saying like, oh, like Asia is getting into NFTs, like Korea, Vietnam, Thailand. So all this money is moving into NFT. So we'll see how that affects the market. But it's really interesting to see that this brand is able to appeal to English speaking markets, right? I'm talking about it to you right now. And also the Chinese speaking market. And I'm sure they're like more of a global brand or trying to be as well. And it seems like on their website, this is gonna be a public domain project. So you probably can use this, you know, any way you want. I'm sure you have to read the details on that, but that's really cool that they would make it public domain so you can use your alpaca, you know, in any way you like. And the thing that really impressed me the most is like the quality of their land in the sandbox, right? So anybody can buy land, but like, what do they do with that land? And you can see like someone out there, they hired somebody to build like this masterpiece of sandbox like architecture, right? So this is definitely not easy to do. It looks pretty good so far. So I'm excited to see how this looks when it actually comes out. You can actually use your alpaca to to, like run around in these worlds. So it's an interesting project. Check it out if you're looking for a VX or if you want to buy a Genesis to get a free VX, you know, totally up to you. But yeah, definitely do your own research before you move forward. So the next project that we are going to be talking about is going to be Raid Party. Now, personally for me, I'm actually excited to buy into this project and actually play the game because I think it looks cool. And I did talk about this in a previous video, but there have been some significant updates. So before when I talked about it, it was just like a landing page and the logo and that was it and some collaboration. So now when we're looking at the website, it's totally different where you're actually seeing like what the game look like, what the aesthetic and vibe is, the different type of characters that you could potentially buy, and the type of monsters that you are going to defeat to do this play to earn thing. You know what this reminds me of really? It reminds me of MapleStory, and I believe this project took a lot of inspiration from MapleStory. Like we can even see Zakum, you have like a bunch of people fighting this monster. It's kind of like a raid party, right? Like you party with other people and you fight this monster. So you kind of see a similar vibe for sure, right? Everybody who grew up with MapleStory like I did, like I played that when I was in like seventh grade, they're gonna resonate with this, right? And especially because we have purchasing power, we're gonna buy into this project most likely. Now they're gonna be different type of heroes that you can get. They're gonna be heroes, they're gonna be fighters, Genesis, so there's different tiers of NFTs that you can get, you know, different classes as well, where they have a uh, few swords, bow and arrow, spears, shurikens, and magic, and things like that, right? So if you go into the roadmap, they're still building it, but essentially this is gonna be like an idol MMO, where you go into dungeons and your characters will fight for you, so you don't really have to do anything, so you're more doing the strategy side of things. And if you are interested in minting this project, you definitely wanna join their Discord. They're saying that there's gonna be an auction on January 26th and then 27th. And from then on, they're gonna be minting processes. So you definitely wanna check that out if you want all the full details. So by the time you're watching this, it may have already minted. I'm not sure we're gonna push this out. And even if you didn't get in on the mint, look for opportunities for entry if it's at a cheaper price and you think it's gonna go up, always do your own research and let's move on to the next project. So the next project that we're gonna talk about is the Takashi Murakami Flower. And obviously Murakami has been pretty big in the NFT space. You've seen him do collaborations with Artifact Studios for their Clone X project. And now he's coming out with his own 
own project and it's going to be the Murakami flower. So if you don't know, the flower is very really, like symbolic for his work. If you've seen like some of the fine art that he's done, the flower is present in a lot of the work that he puts out. So this is pretty cool because if you think about it, Murakami is a world famous artist. There's a whole team behind him. They did crazy collaborations with a lot of brands. They're in like fine art museums. So it's pretty obvious that, you know, if he comes out with an NFT project, people are going to buy it instantly, right? It's basically a more accessible way to buy into fine art. Whereas normally the average person could not buy these pieces because it's way too expensive, right? And this is a way for other people to participate. What is the future of this? It's all speculation right now because there isn't much of a website or like much information about it. Most likely it's going to give you opportunities to get future mints potentially, future collaborations, access to maybe museums or special events, right? So I can see all that happening. It's just think of it like a fine artist providing an NFT to his core fans, creating a community around it. So this is a project that I would definitely keep on your radar, follow them on Twitter. When they start releasing news on how to actually get the NFT, I would definitely keep an eye out for that. All right, so the last project that we're gonna be looking at is going to be Red Envelope by this company called 2426C. And somebody in my Discord actually sent this to me. Basically, it's a company that's trying to bridge like physical world products with NFTs and kind of combine that together. What it actually looks like, still to be determined. But the reason why I think this is interesting, why you should probably put your email in here to join the presale is because they're collaborating with Edison Chen. And Edison Chen is a pretty big deal, especially in Asia and China. And he's known as a musician, entrepreneur, and so many other things. He was the founder of the clothing brand Clot, which is really big in Asia. So I would definitely look out for what this is, and they're gonna be including pieces by Dr. Wu. Like I said, Clot, which is one of their brands, EBC, which is Edison Chen. And I'm not familiar with every single brand here because I'm sure they're more popular in Asia, but it definitely is going to be interesting to see how this goes. And because they have such a big following of like millions of people, I'm pretty sure whatever they put out will sell out and we'll see how it is. So put in your email if you're trying to learn more about that. So that's it, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.